On the faraway continent of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. The Kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River, bringing flourishing trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzant, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt essential to life. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. The Norzelia Consortium is formed, a neutral organization that oversees fair trade of iron and salt. Finally, peace came to the realm. Thirty years pass. Now, a new bond is set to be formed between the Grand Duchy of Esfrost and House Wolffort of Glenbrook, whose power in the kingdom is second only to that of the royal family itself. Lord Saranoa? Good morning! Congratulations, my lord. The future of Wolford is looking brighter than ever. Today's the day, is it not? We're all ready for the big moment. Thank you, everyone. Young Master, Lord Serenoa. So, you were here after all. Ah, Benedict. It would seem word has reached the people already. You can thank Eridor for that. He couldn't refrain from blabbing the news to anyone who would listen. I'll have a talk with him after. This is a momentous day. Not merely for our domain, but for all of Glenbrook. I do not think it possible to keep it a secret. This is well and true, my lord. But you must consider your betrothed's lineage. I'm well aware of the situation, Benedict. I cannot say for sure what repercussions this may have. What I do know is that the people rejoice for us and harbor hope for the future. As the future Lord of House Wolfort, I must rise to the occasion. Fine resolve, my lord. As House Steward, I will do all in my power to assist. Thank you, Benedict. It is heartening to have the support of my father's right-hand man. Shall we head to the port then, my lord? So soon? I had thought we would have more time. The river's waters have risen with the heavy rainfall earlier this week. And given the wind, I think it likely that Esfrost's ship will arrive ahead of schedule. You never cease to amaze. Very well then, let us be on our way.
I thank you for the escort. You are free to go. But Lady Frederica, there is no one here to receive you. He will be along shortly, no doubt. If I have heard true, he is not the type to keep a lady waiting. By your leave, then. We wish you everlasting happiness, my lady. Thank you. I shall work hard, both for my new home and for my motherland. Please let brother, the Archduke, know that. As you command, my lady. We leave the rest to you, Gila. I shan't let you down. Phew, Glenbrook at last. Finally, we can take a moment of respite from our long journey. That said, it would seem we've arrived ahead of schedule. I much prefer it to being late. This is a momentous day for Esfrost, and for the entire realm. We cannot afford to make a bad first impression. I agree. Which is why we cannot have you looking so tense. Why don't we go for a bit of a stroll? A fine idea. After all, this may be the last time in a while that I am free to do as I please. Most are not inclined to grant liberty to one of Roselle and heritage, such as me. You brought that pendant with you? Of course. It is the only memento I have of my mother. <laughs> Thank you kindly, little lady. Letting a whole boatload of guards go back home was a stroke of genius. We heard tell you'd be here, and we wanted to be the ones to welcome you. The winds of fortune are blowing today, aren't they, Pa? Brigands! Stand back, Frederica. I shan't let them have you. What do you intend to do with us? Make our little hostages is all. And ring every last coin out of the duchy and house Wolfort. What's with that pink hair though? Ya Rosellen? And that lady looks like she's from Hyzant. Did we go after the wrong boat? Impossible! The ship was full of as frosty soldiers. Enough! I am without a doubt. Gah! Have you bandits no shame? Attacking two innocent women? And just who in the hell are you?
Who are you exactly? A band of common brigands from the looks of it. Got you curious, huh? You can call me Trap. Leader of the fiercest band of brigands this realm's ever seen. And I'm his daughter, Trish. We've a hundred men at our beck and call. You'd be wise to surrender while you have the chance. Of love, to be sure. I doubt the man would lead his own daughter into battle if he truly commanded such an army. Most astute, my lord. This is doubtless the extent of their mighty band. Enough of your whispering! Now tell us who you are, you bloody cowards! Only a fool would reveal such precious knowledge to his foe. Hey! Who you call it a fool? Ah, enough of this! You'll regret ruining our plans! To arms, my lord. Stand back, the both of you. No, we fight together. I brought this upon us through my indiscretion. Pray allow me to help. My lady. I am the teacher of the arcane arts, and Frederica is a most apt pupil. I can assure you we shan't be a burden. Then I ask for your support from the back lines. And you shall have it. Why didn't you tell me you were having such fun? I would have joined you sooner. What are you doing here? Let us talk later. Now, I believe we have some lawless ruffians to rout. I hope you adults are ready to learn a hard lesson. You'll need more than numbers to beat us. Their confidence is admirable, at least. Orders, my lord? Give them no quarter. We cannot allow brigands to have the run of Wolfhorn. Just who are these people, anyway? Now, Benedict. Think you got what it takes to best my family? Ha! Fools the lot of you. Hope you're ready. Give them a fight, men. Distinguish yourself in battle and you receive your due reward. We do not pay kindly to thievery here in Wolfort. You will pay for your crimes. For the honor of House Wolfort.
You think you're all high and mighty, huh? Well, we'll show you we're no slouches ourselves. <laughs> we're just trying to make a living here. Here. Our land has no place for those who disregard the law. Let us pry out their weakness. I have your back. My turn. You don't stand a chance! Shall we make it a contest, my friend? Let us see who brings down more of these rough things. I think not. Whatever would I tell your father if harm were to befall you? These are no ordinary men. Impossible! Yeah. Let us remain calm and clear-headed. That is our surest path to victory. Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. My thanks. We must defend ourselves from this danger that threatens us. Let me show you what I've learned. I'm a fool. Coming through. There is no mercy on the battlefield. You've left yourself open. Defeat is not an option. I 
won't lose! My lance strikes true! shall prevail. is not an option. Let us pry out their weakness. My turn! I can. Be at ease. My thanks. Shall we strike? Ah. 
I shall try my level best. shall prevail. Your wings are here. The tides are turning. My turn. Yeah! Yeah! Defeat is not an option. Lead, I must grow. This won't be easy. Huh. Yes, you've left yourself huh? open. There is no mercy on the battlefield. is grim. for victory. <laughs> cool heads shall prevail.
be gone. Forward. On your guard. I see a path to victory. You have nothing left. Too slow. My knowledge grows deeper. Let my guard down. I shall do what I can. My growth is plain to see. For victory! You don't stand a chance! For my kingdom! Luck, this is. But where shall we strike? Here. I see a path to victory. You've left yourself open. Let my guard down. Shall we begin? Very well. Ah. Leave it to me. Ah. Did you see that? That? This is good. Damn it all! This can't be! Defeat is not an option. I shall try my level best. I have your back. Splendid! Now what? Cool heads shall prevail.
for the honor of House Wolfort. There is no mercy on the battlefield. I have your back. Splendid. What a mess! Take that! Ah! Bullseye! Cool heads shall prevail. Sorry to worry you. Defeat is not an option. Parry. You little... You'll rue this day, you bastards! Wait, I know that face! That's the Wolfort Lordling! What's that you say? Wolfort? It can't be. What are they doing here so damn soon? This ain't what we planned for. Let's get out of here. For a bunch of no good thieves, at least they know when they're in over their heads. I would have preferred to apprehend them and see them atone for their crimes, but uh, so be it. Your bride to be is safe. Isn't that what matters? My bride to be? My sincerest apologies. I had no idea we were being trailed by bandits. But where are my manners? I am Frederica of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. I have come to fulfill our agreement. I am honored to join you in marriage and to call House Walfort my new home. The honor and pleasure is mine, Lady Frederica. Pray forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. <laughs> to think you'd fight at each other's side in battle before exchanging your vows. Though, I dare say that it bodes well for Wolford that its new lord and lady makes such a fine team. Your Highness! Here, here you are. Why, the entire Kingsguard has been scouring the land for you. Did you sneak out of the castle again, Roland? When I heard my best friend's betrothed was arriving in Glenbrook, I simply couldn't miss the occasion. While we appreciate the sentiment, perhaps you should have said something to the king. <laughs> I'm the least of my dear father's concerns. Though I suspect Huet will think otherwise. I suppose I'd best be on my way back. Rest easy, my fair lady Frederica. You are in good hands here. I look forward to celebrating your union, till we meet again. His ring bore the insignia of Glenbrook's royal family. Could that have been... Prince Roland, King Regna's younger son. So a lord and a prince drove off a band of brigands by their own hand. What a fascinating nation we've come to, Frederica. This is Chila, my tutor and attendant. Famed as the martial prowess of the Wolforts, 
It was an honor to be able to witness it firsthand. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sarah Noah of House Woolfort. And this is Benedict, trusted steward of my family. It is my honor to serve Lord Saranoa in any and all matters. On behalf of House Woolfort, I welcome you to our domain. You may think this is an odd question, my lord, but I ask it nonetheless. What does the color of my hair mean to you? It is not too forward of me to say so. I find it most beautiful. Thank you, my lord. But you need not flatter me. I said only what I mean. I have always been fond of roses, and your hair is as beautiful as any of them. I adore them too. Then it would seem we have something in common. Lady Frederica, everyone awaits. Allow us to escort you back to Castle Wolfort. Thank you, Benedict. It would be my honor. Sarah Noah of Glenbrook's House Wolford and Frederica of Esfrost will unite in marriage to strengthen the ties between their two nations. In doing so, the newfound allies hope to hold their own in the face of Hyzant's salt monopoly, which continues even now, decades after the war. Who could have known that this was but a prelude to an uprising that would engulf all of Norzelia in the flames of war? Welcome back, the both of you. Were there any troubles while we were out? None to speak of, aside from Eridor here. But what else is new? Out with it, Benedict! I heard you were beset by brigands. Is the young lord safe? Lower your voice. Must you always shout so? Or can't you see that it was that big mouth of yours that invited trouble in the first place? There is no cause for concern, Eridor. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. Mayhap not, my lord. But I've known you since you were knee-high to a... Uh, never you mind. This must be the young lord's bride-to-be. I am Frederica. It is a pleasure and honor to meet you all. And I am Gila, her attendant. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce those in service of House Wolfort. This is Arador, master-at-arms and commander of our military forces. 
You'll be the lady of House Wolfort. No harm will befall you as long as I'm around. And this is Anna, my right hand. If you require anything, just say the word. They may not be of my blood, but they are my family just the same. And from this day on, they are your family as well. I am aware that in all of Glenbrook, House Wolfort is second only to the royal family in power and influence. I will do my best not to disappoint you. A joyous day this is! The little lord grew up and found himself the perfect bride. Nah, it brings a tear to my eye. His voice certainly does carry. Sorry, my lady, but you'll have to get used to it. <laughs> my lord, your father awaits you in his chambers. As for me, I must stay and discuss the preparations for tomorrow's festivities with Anna and Eridor. Lady Frederica, pray come with me. Father is expecting us. As you are well aware, there are two events of utmost importance to be conducted before Lord Serenella and his bride are wed. The ceremony to commemorate the joint mining venture. Still can't believe I'll be seeing the day when we break ground on a new mine right here in Glenbrook. And with the full support of Esfrost and Hyzant, no less. You can thank King Regna for that. It was by his most wise and generous proposal that the three nations of Norzelia now strive toward a common goal. Needless to say, delegates from each nation will be joining in the festivities. From the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, Lord Dragan Esfrost, who is overseeing the technical side of the mining operations. The Holy State of Hyzant will be represented by Minister Lila Viscraft of the Saintly Seven and our own Lord Simon will serve as Glenbrook's delegate and meet with the two before the ceremony, yes? Quite so. After that, it will be House Wolfort's responsibility to see that our honored guests feel welcome. Anna, I would trust you safeguarding both Lord Dragan and Minister Lila. Consider it done. Then once that stuffy ceremony is over, we can get to the real highlight of the day, the tourney. Ah, my blood's already rushing, just envisioning the greatest warriors from all the realm, clashing swords. From Esfrost, the much-renowned general of Laura. And from Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. I have heard much of his prowess as well. Then, of course, there's our reigning victor. The pride of Glenbrook, Sir Maxwell the Dawnspear. Still, I wish him all the best of luck against their hosts. They'll need it to beat House Wolfort. On that matter, there are two things I should make clear. Prince Roland has expressed a desire to join the tourney as a member of House Wolfort's contingent. Why would the boy want to fight with us and not his own arms master? Apparently, he originally formally requested to do just that, but King Regna would not allow it. And so he came to the young lord in hopes of finding another way in. Well, it's more than welcome in my book. The royal family said we're free to put together our own contingent after all. I reckon His Majesty would be beside himself with joy if we could deliver a beaten to Esfrost and Isand. 
Doubtless so. Very well. I shall inform the prince that he is welcome in our ranks. Finally, there is the matter of Lord Simon's health? Indeed. Sadly, the lord of the house is in no condition to participate in the tourney. Barring some miracle, I anticipate that Lord Saranoa will have to fight in his lord father's stead. Lord Simon. I suppose age takes its toll on even the mightiest of men. So be it then. You can leave watching over the young lord and Prince Roland to me. Good. I remind you that while this is a joyous occasion, all of our attendees have their own reasons for coming. Let us not give them an opportunity to catch us unaware. Father, I bring to you my betrothed, the Lady Frederica. A pleasure to meet you, my lord. I am Frederica of House Esfrost. Ho oh, oh, ho, the pleasure is all mine. Were it not for the efforts of House Wolfort, the Salt Iron War would rage on still today. I do not deserve the honor of joining your esteemed family, but I will endeavor to serve you all the same. <laughs> there is no need for such formalities, my girl. You are tired from your journey, I am sure. Pray rest easy tonight. Thank you, my lord. I believe that in any journey, the first step is the most important. Before we go forward together, I should like to know why you chose to welcome one of Roselle in blood, such as I. Oh, I'd heard you were a strong-willed one. Pray forgive my insolence. Uh, and yet, I am set to marry into a mighty house of a foreign nation. I should like to know what you wish of me that I might live up to your expectations. A most reasonable request. Both of you, listen well. Yes, Father. Your marriage was agreed upon by Glenbrook and S. Frost, that the ties between our two nations might be strengthened to give us more leverage against Tizant with their monopoly over salt. Precisely. With Glenbrook and Esfros consolidating their power, Tizant was left with little choice but to join the Alliance. And yet, while Lady Frederica is indeed the Archduke's sister, at the same time she is the daughter of a Rosellan concubine. And House Walford, for all our military prowess, is no more than a bannerman of the king. If the aim was to forge the strongest bond we could between our two nations... It would be far more appropriate for my sister, Lady Erica, to wed the Crown Prince of Glenbrook. Just so, yet neither nation chose that. And do you know why? So that, if relations between our two countries were to take a turn for the worse... We could be cast away like pawns. Precisely. Such are the schemes of those who rule nations. <sighs> I understand now. And yet, 
no matter how impure the intentions behind this arrangement may be, I will not bring dishonor to the Wolfwort name. Well said, my son. If that is your decision, then... <gasps> Father! Lord Simon! I am an old man, and my health is not what it once was. For this reason and more, I have made my decision. As of this day, I abdicate my position as Lord of House Wolfort. You will serve in my stead from tomorrow forth, my son. But, Father, I am not ready to... My decision is not made lightly. You have already shown me, with your words and your deeds, that you are more than ready. Think always about what your subjects need from you. Weigh your choices carefully, then take action. Do so, and I have no doubt you will make a great lord. And trust in Benedict. He shall serve you as well as he did me. Thank you, Father. I will spare no effort that one day I may be as beloved by our people as you. Lady Frederica, your fate is not a simple one. There are many who would try to use the both of you as pawns in their own schemes. Even so, I hope that you will be there to support my son through it all as his wife but also as your own person. This is House Wolfort's entreaty and the wish of a father. Of course, my lord. It was my intention from the moment I boarded the ship. Beg pardon, my lord, but Lord Jagan and Minister Lila have arrived. Very well. Presiding over tonight's banquet will be my final duty as Lord of the House. Tomorrow's ceremony will mark the beginning of yours, my son. And after that will be your wedding. Rest well tonight, both of you, for busy days lie ahead. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.